Assalamu alaikum everybody. This is Ariba from Iman Power. Let me know if you can hear me. Please say salams in the comments. And um, I have just released a new video and this one is for children. So make sure you show it for the, show it to them. And this video is about games addiction and how it affects them that they might be completely unaware of uh, how it's affecting their brain and their behavior. They might not have realized it um, and how they can inshallah break that cycle of addiction. So basically this video explains to children, um, you know, what is really um, games addiction, right? How is it an addiction? Because they might just think like often addicts think that it's not an addiction, right? Um, I can just give it up whenever I want. I'm in total control, but actually they're not in control necessarily. Um, and it just keeps becoming worse and worse. So um, in a very simplified way with lots of cool animations that I've worked all night on, <laughs> I've been working on this video just like not the um, script and stuff, but just the graphics and stuff for this video <laughs> for like two weeks now, subhanAllah. Uh, but finally it's here and uh, today tonight I just, I just have to finish this <laughs> so I got on to it uh, alhamdulillah um, I've, it's on the Iman Power Facebook page so if you go there it will be there now I am going to release uh, an updated version inshallah in an hour which has an extra 45 seconds which will explain something even more deeper in the 45 seconds which i think is a very critical point which i will talk about now inshallah okay so walikum assalam beanish walikum assalam mary noreen walikum assalam please say salams everybody <laughs> in the comments please say salams Return my salams. I did say salams, and if you didn't hear it, once again, assalamu alaikum. So please say salams in the comments and let me know if you can. Well, you can hear me, I'm assuming now, but <laughs> it's a matter of habit. Um, okay, so once again, my name is Ariba, and uh, as I said, find the video on Iman Power page, show it to your children. This is, I think, one of the most important videos I have made. In fact, I have just remade this video because I felt it's, I had made this video last year and then I recreated it this year because I think it's so important and I felt like it needs to be, you know, <laughs> improved and some points need to be clearer and the animation needs to be better. So that's what we have done. So watch it with them. So what does it talk about? Um, we talk about what causes um the game's addiction you know um first of all if your kids are addicted to games it's not all <laughs> it's telling you something really important about them and that is that this need in them which is uh, you know a human need to that they to want to overcome challenges right that the game they would never play a game that is just boring that's just too easy right everybody gets bored of that kind of game so this tells me that i love overcoming challenges games presents that to me and i'm fulfilling that need of overcoming challenges getting achievements um through this game right and i feel when, what happens then when i start playing i feel great Every time I'm overcoming these challenges and imagine the child in that world of the game. It's like the world centers around them, right? And uh, if now nowadays there are um, network games, right? Sorry, par <laughs> forgive me. I haven't slept most of the night, so I might be lost for words in between. Um, but anyway, so... For them, they are part of something nowadays with network games. Um, they are part of a team. They're working together on a mission, right? So it feels like so incredible. And the game is very quickly, games are very smartly designed. Games teams actually have often embedded psychologists in them. 
it's a fact i've been uh actually i was my first job out of uni was a games programmer so i have a lot of insight into that side of things too um so uh, games are cleverly designed to give you a challenge give you a reward to keep you engaged in that um and nowadays it's so much worse um i mean war the games are better which makes it worse for us uh trying to protect our children from that but games are super engaging you just feel like you are in that world um so now when you shut off the game and you come back to your normal life what is there same old chores same old books same old homework or nothing to do i am just an ordinary kid here like so many others what is my significance i'm not the hero here like i was in the game i'm not part of some great mission like i was in the game i was saving the world i was achieving things i was collecting things right um and now i'm just like nothing right it's the same old stuff so it just sucks it totally sucks to shut off the game come back to real life and the more they have been addicted the harder it is for them and i will explain that further so then what happens and i'm saying all this by the way but i've explained this all to children um in that video so check that our video out on the iman power facebook page um anyway so then what happens um you know everything sucks it's so boring i feel like a loser i just feel so ordinary I want to feel special. I want to feel extraordinary. I want to have some achievements. I want to feel that excitement that I had felt a few moments ago when I was playing. So what's the quickest way I can get that? Back to the game. Back to the game, right? So I go back to the game. I play, I play, I play and then I hear mom calling me out again. <laughs> right? And then I come back and it's even worse now. because now my homework is late i haven't done my chores so again the problems are getting bigger and bigger piling up right um you know relationships are getting messed up and homework is getting delayed and all these things things are becoming worse and worse more and more stress life has more and more stress because anyways they're growing up growing up means more problems right so then i you know again i the only way out for you know me who's feeling so ordinary in this world i don't feel like a hero here i don't feel like i'm achieving like i can't achieve quickly here what's the way out for me how do i achieve how do i feel like a winner how do i feel like a hero how do i feel like i'm part of something great together with others go back to that game join that team of network players right that's why kids love so much network games they want to be part of something and so they go back to it and so this the cycle keeps going and the problems get getting bigger kept getting um, bigger and bigger the more big the problems are the more they need to escape from it the more they will incline to games right and just like a drug addict when he gets tired of a drug i mean a drug addict is not going to have the same dose of the drug all the time because the brain says well i need more i need better right so then i need more games i need better games and one of the things i explain to kids in this video in a very fun way <laughs> i hope is dopamine because there actually is a drug involved here that your brain releases to you every time you feel that joy of excitement you know the kids are like, yes that's your drug release to you that's why you're feeling that high of excitement so dopamine gets released and now when you leave the game you are craving dopamine 
and that's why everything is so boring right you want that quickly you want to go back to it anyways another impact of this um is the fact that um you know i am playing games it gives me quick highs then i come back to life everything is boring why everything is too hard anything now that doesn't give me that quick high very quickly constantly not just quickly but has to give me every few minutes every few minutes it has to give me quick high like the game does because that's what my brain is used to now just like a drug addict is addicted to a drug my brain is addicted to this quick excitement release of dopamine release of dopamine release of dopamine and anything that doesn't give me that quick excitement and, and you know constantly that's boring that's too hard i'm going to give up on that i'm not going to stick with that it's boring it's too hard the perseverance is not there <laughs> right so they give up and so then if a person just keeps on going like that what happens what starts happening is their heart starts to die right cuz they stop feeling anymore their heart has gotten used to all these highs of excitement that the normal things that make us happy normally or things that used to make them happy that used to make them excited don't make them excited anymore don't work anymore they can't feel that happy you know that little happiness is nothing compared to the constant highs that games give me and that's why the kids just like let's do this you used to enjoy doing this Ugh. <laughs> right everything is like oh. they are not excited about it anymore because you know they're seeking a much higher level of excitement just like a drug addict you know they start taking a level of drug and then that level of drug low level of drug means nothing to them after a while the little joys of life are like that for them it don't mean anything to them they need higher and slowly slowly by their 20s you will see uh, if uh, you know a child keeps on growing like this that they stop feeling this is very common in millennials today they stop feeling they can't feel ha- excited and about most of the things they don't feel that happy about most of the things right and so depression starts creeping into and that's the most devastating thing i think one of the most devastating consequences of it what is the way out what is the way out of this addiction and that's what i talked to kids about in that video too how do we get rid of this addiction well what addicted you to this thing in the first place you were seeking achievements you were seeking to be part of something great you were seeking to be a hero right you were seeking to overcome challenges that's how we started with today right when i started that's the first thing we said we're looking we enjoy the game because it gives me a challenge and i love overcoming the challenge so instead of seeking fake challenges being a fake hero being part of like a fake team really those network players they don't really care about you right <laughs> they have very little interaction with you actually even how about being a real hero in this life being ha- encountering real challenges facing real challenges overcoming real challenges being a real hero that's the answer that's the answer you have been looking for they need real challenges real challenges you need to feel like they are a hero in this world they are significant in this world 
they are part of something great they need that team they need to feel like they are part of something great just like in the game they are saving the world they are part of a great mission not just do your homework mission <laughs> do your home challenge do your chores challenge which you know uh, but they feel like they are doing something great i am a hero the world centers around me i'm doing something significant here they need to feel like that if you want to save them from what they have sunk into now if they hadn't you know if our children perhaps hadn't been in that situation maybe they they don't they won't need that kind of uh, you know uh, allah knows best i don't know i haven't thought that much about it. what if it hadn't happened but now that this is happening this is what they need they need to be real life heroes they need to face real challenges and overcome them together in a team and that's why i created rising heroes this is why i created rising heroes because i know they want to feel like a part of a team because i know that the child feels i can do more and i'm not being let to do more that i can overcome so much more that i can face so much more challenges i want to make a difference in this world this is also a characteristic of of millennials that they might be you know <laughs> not feeling anymore but this is also known that they are the people who care more about wanting to contribute to the world and your children do too they want to be a significant part of this world so rising heroes i created that the children get the opportunity to take a real world problem that they care about and you might like i don't think my child they care about something i care about something every class um, i've been taking free trial classes these days and every time i ask them they come up with all kinds of issues that they care about subhanallah so um one on one hand it's sad you know that they're concerned about it but i think it's also really great that they're concerned about so many things around the world so um you know giving them the opportunity to actually fa- tackle a real problem in this real world and overcome that together with other children not just some random network players be that team now that's an addiction an addiction to be a real hero that we can all be proud about isn't it this is what we are going to have to do now i know not everybody can do rising heroes but those of you who are can't do it then you need to figure it out you need to give your children the opportunity to contribute back to the world not just contribute back as in go and volunteer somewhere lead be the hero be the leader because rising heroes was never about me leading them to do something it was about them it is about them leading taking charge in the game they are in charge the world centers around them their mission they are in charge of their mission let them be in charge of their mission we need to stop babying them <laughs> right and stop underestimating them our children are not less than the in their qualities in their abilities they are not less than the companions they are not allah subhanahu wa taala created us as the best of his creation so what is the potential of your child is far greater then what they're doing now what you think they can do now what they think they can do now the children at that time we look at them and we're like wow at 13 they were scholars of quran sitting in meetings with the khalifas usama ibn zaid leading an army before he was 18 19 subhanallah and forget about you know even if you want to say oh yeah i don't know maybe the company and all that look at the children living in poverty today look at the children living in poverty today 
are they better than your children look at the amount of responsibility they take up look, some even looking after their entire families 12 year olds alhamdulillah that your children are not in that position but does it mean that they are not capable of taking that degree of responsibility they don't have it in them they are weaker somehow no they it, they have it in them they have so much more in them and alhamdulillah compared to those children who are living in poverty and taking up all this responsibility what your children have is a lot more knowledge lot more resources so act they don't need to look after their family they can look after the world they can look after those children right they can do something incredible if they were fu- you know fully applying themselves in that or even 10 person applying themselves in that but we don't call on children to do that oh you are a kid you are just a kid we can't ask you to do that we can't expect you to do that you're just a kid the more we will keep doing just a kid you can't do this it is the more the children will keep seeking other ways of feeling significant other ways of getting those achievements which is things like games and then we will complain why <laughs> why are you addicted this is why they are addicted they are just seeking to fulfill a very human need that perhaps we are not letting them fulfill what do you think <laughs> let me know let me know your thoughts so um, um of course you know we can talk about this for hours and hours um this is a big problem in our umma today and it has many 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 reasons but of course underneath all there are only a couple <laughs> right and it has many 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 adverse effects and we have to save our children from that I want you to be the mother who will never give in to this. Just be determined with that. I will not give up on my child and say, "Well, what can I do? You just play games all day." I can't save you. You will not give up on your child. Right? Right. <laughs> Inshallah. So, we will keep working at it until we save them. protect them and raise them to be great leaders who can shine inshallah who will shine in this world jazakallah khair i hope you benefited and uh, once again the video is on iman power facebook page uh, f- that's a video for children it's not going to be as long as my talk here <laughs> and i'm going to put out an updated version of that too um which i add the bit about you know just losing that feeling in your heart um so yeah check that out too and show it to your children so they can understand what's happening to them and how the games might be really deeply impacting them how the games might be trapping them so watch it with them um once again i want to remind you i'm doing still doing trial classes uh classes about um um sadi i think maybe you just joined late i just sh- shared bunch of ideas uh okay now i wanted to say yeah i'm doing a class on osama ibn zaid as we, we i mentioned him briefly um so he was uh, i mean his story is just incredible maybe one day inshallah i can talk more about him <laughs> in facebook live too but i've been telling this story to children he um in his teenage years prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam made him the commander of the army which fought romans and this wasn't it this is uh, the you know the great victory of his life but he made mistakes he 
grew up um, you know he was a young black boy son of a slave in Mecca imagine that so lots of lessons from his story um, if you haven't registered your kids make sure you do it's for nine and up um, you can again find the link to that also on my Facebook page Iman Power Facebook page and uh, Rising Heroes will be opening up soon so make sure you register them if you can I mean if they are in the age group <laughs> okay Jazakallah khair see you tomorrow Assalamu alaikum